ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a special edition of the Startup Soiree podcast. This is Patrick Reif, and today I have Ted Offit from Offit Kerman. Ted will be moderating tonight. That's right, tonight's Startup Soiree. It's May 28th, 2015. Uh, we thought we would get Ted on the phone and ask him a few fun questions to pique your interest. So um, before I get into him, let me welcome him. Ted, thank you for being a guest on the Startup Soiree podcast. Well, Patrick, thank you for the warm welcome. I look forward to meeting everyone tonight. So not to delay too much... First question, how did you get your start in law and in business? Uh, so the, uh, the startup in law came uh, a little bit by detour. I started in the accounting profession and was working in the tax office of a national accounting firm. And uh, most of the tax accountants were lawyers, and they uh, suggested that I go to law school. They told me the lawyers ruled the world and made all the money. Uh, and uh, who could turn down the opportunity to rule the world and make all the money? So I took a quick detour, went to law school, and started in my legal profession. Have you, in fact, found what they promised on the other side of that rainbow? A absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the, the investment bankers rule the world and make all the money. I'm a deal transaction lawyer. And so be assured, it's the investment bankers that got it. So they were close. They got me out of accounting, but not to the right spot. Hey, whatever. That's one step better. I guess it's just into a different character in a Kafka book. There you go. So, question number two. You serve on the board of directors for the United States Olympic Committee's National Federation for Bobsled and Skeleton. What's up with that? Well, that's, uh, that's been a terrific opportunity for me. I was introduced to, uh, to the board by a client of mine who lived in Park City, Utah, was very involved in bobsled and skeleton, and suggested to the Olympic Committee that they had too many bobsledders on the board. What they needed was a good lawyer who understood governance and finance. And uh, I'm just at the end of my eight-year term. I've been to two Olympics, all kinds of world championships, have met terrific athletes. It's just a pleasure to represent these athletes and uh, met people involved in the International Olympics. It's been, it's been a great experience and one I've grown from. So have you been on a bobsled? I've been on a bobsled many times. Have you been and, on a skeleton uh, wet I, sled, I guess? Is that, is that the right <laughs> I've been terminology? on a skeleton sled as well. Yes, I have. Skeleton <laughs> and bobsled. I have not been on a luge, but uh, the others I've been on. Ted, how do you spend your free time? Well, I have a uh, home in Park City, Utah, and I spend most of my time on the ski mountain in the, uh, in the winter. I haven't had a chance to enjoy Park City as much in the summer. But it's really through that Olympic experience and meeting folks in bobsled that I became introduced to Park City and uh, a place I enjoy spending my time. That's awesome. That's it's so so cool that it's become such a a pinnacle, you know, or not a pinnacle, but a uh, a large part of your life. And having it had been delivered through such a kind of um, uncanny avenue, it has been great. So, all right, guys, you heard it. This is Ted and his three questions. You can find out more from him should you choose to attend tonight's startup soiree. We're going to be talking uh, about ownership, uh, more specifically the do's, the don'ts, and the collateral damage, maybe how you might get out of that. So uh, if you like what you heard, get on the web, get your ticket, and uh, get your ideas and questions together for Ted. He's going to be here. We're going to be um, hanging out, having some Diamondback Brewing beers and some food from Nutritious and uh, cold juice, as always, from Gundalo. Um, it's going to be a great night. So I hope to see you, Ted. Um, I can't wait to catch up this evening. Thank you again for taking a little time out of your afternoon to uh, record this podcast with us. Thanks, Patrick. All right, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow.